So in just a couple of months, so much video game history will be lost to time. And it's all thanks to Twitch. I know that sounds like a heavy, heavy beginning, but this is for a good reason. So starting April 19th, Twitch will be enforcing a 100 hour maximum quota for each channel. And that's on the terms of highlights. So to give you a brief rundown, on Twitch, when you live stream, you can save the streams or parts of the streams as highlights. This will only affect highlights and uploads. It's like if you were to upload a video on YouTube, but on Twitch. The things that won't get touched are the clips, which are basically like YouTube shorts or TikTok, and past broadcasts, which are streams that are temporarily stored to Twitch before they get deleted after a couple of weeks. So why am I mentioning all this? The reason being is because so many people in speedrun communities, people that have done gaming events, and even the average everyday viewer, if they stream on Twitch and have highlights, will probably have some of their stuff cut if they are over 100 hours of video of highlights. This will be detrimental to people that want to store their stuff that they've streamed Again, speedruns of many different games. There are so many speedruns of every different game. Some of them have very small communities, and some of them may not even be aware about this problem that's going on. Again, gaming events with all their different highlights of, again, speedruns, or a Smash tourney, or something, some other tournament, or maybe even just, you know, a couple of friends streaming online doing something, a podcast or something that they want to keep and don't want to lose forever. This won't be for every highlight that's on the different channels. They'll start deleting the least viewed highlights starting April 19th and deleting them until you meet that 100 hour quota. This is very detrimental for history, preservation of different things. Now, when Twitch posted about this the other day, they mentioned that only 0.5% of people have exceeded this 100-hour quota, which is still a lot of people when you take into account how many accounts there are on Twitch, especially for people that have been doing this for years and years. All of a sudden, they're told that, oh yeah, most of your stuff will be gone and you'll have to just do something about it. In a couple of months' time, that's not a whole lot of time at all. Now, there are some arguments as to why Twitch is doing this. People are thinking, well, Twitch is owned and operated by Amazon, which they are. Wouldn't they be able to just afford more storage space given how big the company is? You could say that, yes, and I've thought of that too. But allegedly, some staffers have claimed that this would save Twitch several hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and that allegedly also they wanted to possibly even get rid of highlights altogether, but they ended up coming to a middle ground. And I've also seen the argument that Twitch may not be as profitable as they were before, um, so this may also be just a, a business decision as to why they're doing this and get, getting rid of other people's highlights and stuff. So with the time we have left to save what we can, what can we do? So for your own personal account, when you're on Twitch, you can export it directly to YouTube. So people can be like, oh yeah, I'll just export everything to YouTube. The only problem with that is that there's a daily upload limit on YouTube, and this counts for exporting Twitch highlights to YouTube. You'll hit a daily upload limit, and you'll have to wait until the following day to continue doing stuff. If you have a lot of stuff that you want to export to YouTube, that's going to take quite a while. So what else can you do in the meantime that would be faster? So you can download videos, uh, highlights and stuff through a third party app called Twitch Downloader, which I personally use and I've found to be a world of help. And in fact, before I continue, I'm actually going to show you how to use this program right now. So you'll first have to install the program. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Once you've got that installed and you open the program, you greet it with this window, so you can go to the top right button and hit task Q. And there's some other options now. So first things first, what you can do on here is have it download a bunch of videos at the same time. The only problem is, uh, depending on what kind of PC you have, maybe it can only handle one or two videos downloading at one time. 
In that instance, you can set it to how many videos you want to download at one time. By going under parallel task limits here, you'll see there's an option VOD downloads. I have it set to one. Originally, it was set to six. And this means it would download six highlights at the same exact time. PC power, maybe one thing, you know, it may slow down your PC some. Uh, it also can slow down your internet if you are downloading s multiple things at the same time. So what I usually do is just set it to one. I leave the rest alone. I don't even bother with clips or chat downloads. If you're trying to save chats, you can also adjust it as need be. Um, chat downloads. And then the chat renders is for having a chat in the actual video. Your Twitch chat replay. Twitch chat replays aren't for super old highlights. At some point they started saving chat replays. I don't usually bother with that though. Once you got this set up, uh, you can go ahead and under mass downloads, you can set a URL list. So that's basically you can copy one link from Twitch, paste it in here, hit enter to make a new line because it's only one per line. Hit enter and then go ahead and save another thing. Copy the link, paste it into the new line, enter, so on and so forth. By the time you're done, you'll probably have like a decently sized list, maybe a long list of stuff. And that's for if you're downloading multiple videos from different channels. If you want to download videos from just one channel, you got something easier. You can search VODs and then you can type in the username. So I've got mine, glitch PhD, that channel. And all these videos are getting pulled up. So I can say pretty much whatever I want. I can save this one, this one, this one. That's, you know, I've selected four. If you want to select all the ones that you've got, you can hit the select all button. It'll select everything that's on here. Go to the next page, select all. And now you've got 59 items. Now, if you want a larger list and you want to, you know, you want to get this show on the road here, there's a tab up here on the top right. It'll display however many videos you want on one page. So I've got videos per page. I've got a hundred and then you can select them all, move on to the next page, yada, yada, yada. Once you're all done, click add to queue. You can select where you want to save to. You can go to browse and select where you want. I'll select this folder. Make sure you click on the download video box. Otherwise, if you don't, your entire list will be gone. You want to make sure that you hit that download video button. That way it'll actually start downloading once you hit add to queue. I usually leave it at source quality. Once you hit add to queue, it'll start downloading. So pretty much, yeah, that's how you use Twitch downloader. You can save from anyone's Twitch, no matter what, for people that maybe, you know, don't have the time to export everything. Maybe they're already busy in their daily lives. You can, you can help do something by saving their videos for them. And then if they want to, you can upload that somewhere else so that they can have it. So that way we won't lose bits of history, essentially. As cringy as it may sound, gaming history, some of it will be gone if we don't do anything to back it up right now. And this would be good too, especially for the people that can't do it. Like I said, people that were already busy before. Maybe there are some people that are inactive on Twitch. They haven't been on Twitch in years and they just don't know. Maybe they don't care to back up their stuff, but you still want to see their stuff remain, especially if it was influential in some sort of way. Maybe there are people that have forgot their passwords and they can't export or download directly from Twitch because you can also directly download your VODs from Twitch. Or maybe there are people that are simply no longer with us that, you know, they can't do anything about it. That's what sucks the worst. But we can do something about this right now. So again, you can download highlights with Twitch Downloader. This is available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. So basically anyone with a working computer can do this stuff and back up and save these highlights. Again, it's a quicker backup option compared to exporting to YouTube. You can download as much as you want. The only caveat with that is your internet service provider. So pretty much for people that have an internet service provider, more than likely they'll have some sort of thing in place where you can only do so much per billing cycle. You can only use so much data per billing cycle. They're trying to curb congestion. If some people use so much data, the internet service provider may slow down their internet speed quite substantially. 
and deprioritize the people that use so much data in a month. For most people, you won't hit this data cap. Um, for people that are just doing, you know, they're watching shows on Netflix or whatever. They're playing games online with their friends. They're posting stuff on different websites. They're, you aren't going to hit that cap, more than likely. Even streamers on Twitch will not hit that cap. People on YouTube, more than likely, won't hit that cap unless if they do a ton of data stuff. If there are people that do data-heavy stuff, you may get hit with that. Now, for people backing up hours and hours, tens of hundreds of hours of videos like me, like I'm doing right now, if you do so much in a month, you may start to see as an issue with this. And for only having a couple of months to do this, again, that's not a whole lot of time. And if you go over this data cap, for instance, ours, I believe, is a little over a terabyte in a month. So if you go over that limit, we'd be slowed significantly. There's problems with all of this. But the reason why I'm making this video now to curb these problems that I just mentioned, I'm hoping to get this word out to you watching. So that way, maybe you can share this video with a friend, a few friends, and get them together to help download your own stuff, other f of your friends stuff, other people that you know, other influential things on Twitch that may be gone at a moment's notice and in just a couple of months. Because as it seems right now, it doesn't seem like Twitch will be letting up. If they do and something changes, then that's that's awesome. I hope. But for the time being, we kind of have to do what we can right now. So for instance, for me, what I've been doing in just a few short days, I've been saving speedruns that were world records at one point for some games that I personally care about. And there's, there's a lot of them. I'm currently still downloading some right now. I'm currently downloading the rest of the world record runs that are only on Twitch that I could find for Luigi's Mansion. Some people have it on YouTube already. That's safe. Good. But people that don't, that have it only on Twitch, that's where there's pitfalls and where we want to save what we can. I've already saved world records that I could find that were only on Twitch for the games of the list right now on the screen. But again, I can only do so much, especially in one month. I'll try to do what I can for other games that I enjoy, that I know maybe won't get saved if people don't do something about this now. I just want to be able to have enough time to save as much as I can to lessen the blow, especially for people that make world record progression videos, Summoning Salt, The Rixer, who also made a video about this topic just a couple of days ago. Anyways, this is what I'm doing, and I'm hoping that some of you out there can help too with this. If there's anything that you remember that is on Twitch that isn't already on YouTube, please try to save what you can. I know this isn't the normal video that I'd be making, but I figured I'd just get this out so that way, hopefully, this reaches more people. I know I don't have a super big following at the moment, but hopefully this will do some good. But for now, with that being said, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care, and peace.